Hello my friends, welcome to a new video. Today I am going to talk about haptics. Most of us already have experience with the haptic feedback. If you look at your controller, for example, for the PlayStation 5, there is haptics built in in the triggers um, and also your steering wheel, um, be it active or non-active uh, force feedback that you have can also be counted as haptic. In my quest to improve the driving sensation and fun of simulated driving, I added four pieces of hardware to my rig and this is my report of it. So the Logitech G Pro, those who saw the review of uh, this wheelbase know that I really am a big fan of TrueForce. So this steering wheel already has a very impressive quality for force feedback. You can feel it in the corners, for example, um, in the details of the road. It already has a very good force feedback. But what the True Force does is it just adds a bit more sensation on the parts where there is, yeah, little detail to a little detail, like on uh, long straights, for example there is less detail but then you have the revving of the engine the force of the acceleration and deceleration that you feel and it really complements the active force feedback of the steering wheel well so Fanatec is also working on the full force it will be very nice to see them um, I do see it in action. I don't believe at the moment that I'm recording this that there are already games which support Field Force. But knowing Fanatec, they will do their best to make it even better than this. And I really look forward to it. But for this one, I think the, uh, the, the extra haptics that you get from here also really an asset to the entire sim driving experience. For the haptics in the steering wheel, I think we will see a lot more um, of this coming up the next uh, couple months and years uh, from Moza, Camus and other companies. So for now we have uh, uh, Logitech which has, is the only a uh, real big manufacturer that has it implemented for many games in their steering wheel. Um, of course, there is the full force of, of uh, Fanatec, which is uh, upcoming, but still nothing really uh, that um, that they support from games. Uh, there is the TDFB also of uh, Trustmaster, but again, all only for the Gran Turismo franchise. So not really, not really a lot from this, but I really like the True Force. I think it is a bit expensive in the package with the with the, the G Pro of Logitech but still it gives such a nice sensation hassle free I really could recommend it so Fanatec V3 pedal comes with uh, two haptic motors and a lot of effects that you can um, put in SimHub Now important here is that to note that they are not the most powerful motors. I mean, it's a bit normal. You don't want for the, the haptic motors of your pedals to move your entire rig. That's a bit nonsense. But I would have appreciated if the motors would have been a bit more, more uh, powerful. It is things like the... Um, road details you hardly feel them you hardly feel them when they are when when they are on you hardly feel them same for the shifting of the gear you can put it on it will turn once but you won't feel uh, you won't feel it it's good to put some uh, nice and strong um, things like acceleration deceleration that you will feel like when I'm here, slowing down, I can feel it. Here also, you can feel the vibrations well. Of 
for haptics, I think this is the least impressive one of, uh, of the four that I have. But still, you know, you guys, I am a fan of uh, gadgets and gimmicks. So I really like the fact that, well, it's extra immersion. Huh? The buzzer that there that is on there is very light. And so you can't really use it for the finer details of the road. Of course, it's handy that you have like a buzzer on the accelerator and the brake and you can feel it at certain times for certain effects but in general it just does too little especially if you will pair it uh, with a pair of shoes and the rest of the haptic switch is working well you really don't feel the 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 the, the pedals that much the butt kicker the most powerful piece of haptic that i have now installed on my rig I tone it down a bit because it is so very powerful. And as you will notice from the noise, this is not something that you want to use if your neighbors are sleeping or if your uh, kids are sleeping in a bit of a uh, in a room without any isolation for sound because this is loud 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 nice effects here yeah the road deal detail for example well you feel it uh, quite nice coming through the suspension only thing yeah it is a bit centralized eh? so you have the um, the butt kicker really in the center of your seating area. So it, it can't really um, make the left buttock or the right buttock shake. It's an entire buttock like, shake with this. It's not, it's not bad. I am. Um, it's not bad, eh? but it, it just means that you are more limited into what um, what sentiments, what, what effects that you want to um, want to feel. RPM, for example, please don't put uh, I don't put it too high because it will shake your entire rig to pieces. Oh, but nonetheless, um, yeah, you feel it. Huh? So the bus shaker, it is really a nice piece of hardware if you want to feel your um, car rumble or the 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 underground on which you are driving well this is really perfect so as a low level uh, uh, effects uh, piece of hardware this is really perfect however in the setup that I have it um, so one uh, one bus shaker in in the center of the, uh, of the seat yeah it's it's not ideal and I also couldn't really use its power because yeah if I used its power then yeah, everything started to shake here and, and it was really noisy so it's not really a good solution if you have kids uh, uh, asleep uh, uh, above you or if you have neighbors and cardboard um, cardboard walls it makes a lot of noise and this is something that you need to take into account I also think that perhaps the uh, if you have two of them it would be a lot better because then you have two channels and you have a bit of um, a more uh, differentiation in the force feedback so yeah it's it's a nice piece of hardware but yeah clearly not not my favorite the next level racing hf8 those who saw the review know that i really like this piece of hardware it hasn't changed i still love it it has eight different um haptic motors in the pad left right top and bottom so that makes that it covers really the largest part of your body uh, for haptic sensations because there are also eight different um, haptic motors you can really customize the the feeling of the sensation too M 
my favorite feeling that I have from it is when it changes gear. Like a small jolt like, hello. Really, really love it. And as you can hear, I don't need to shout. It is, it's not quiet, but it is quiet enough to play with when your kids are asleep. And I'm sure my neighbors won't mind this one either. It's, this is really, really the best sensation that you can add for haptics. Uh, apart from the force feedback, of course. But yeah. Absolutely nice. Software that comes with, with it is a bit less. Uh, but that's for all the softwares. Um, use use SimHub, and that can drive everything. The HF8 is probably my most favorite piece of haptics that I have installed on my rig. Why? It is easy to install. It's compatible with the console. It is compatible with PC. It has uh, a lot, a lot, a lot of um, different effects that it can generate and a lot of detail too because of the eight uh, different um, uh, motors that are in it. And it just uh, covers a lot of the body. So it has your back covered. It has your seating area covered. In terms of most immersion for your buck, I would opt for the next level racing HF8 as the first purchase to improve the immersion. It is a very democratically priced piece of hardware, which will give most of your body already a very detailed and fun haptic experience. Apart from this, it is user friendly and compatible with all platforms. To get the most out of it, I advise to run it via SimHub and use game telemetry for both PC and console where possible. At that moment, it really shines. The butt kicker would possibly be the next thing to buy to complement the deeper haptics coming from the motor, suspension and road surface. But, and this is quite a large but, I think it is an expensive solution and if you don't buy a plug and play bundle like the butt kicker pro, it might take some time to set it up correctly. I'm also no fan of the noise it generates. It would be impossible for me to use it since I usually drive when my partner and kids are sleeping. So for people that, like me, have the noise level as a semi-important variable, I would recommend a good steering wheel with extra haptics as second buy, or even first if you don't like the addition of all the wires and extra peripherals. At that moment you will be polluting a bit the force feedback of the steering wheel, but you don't really care from the moment that you actually have it activated. For the rest, it offers a pleasant addition of sentiment on pieces where there is little to almost no detail in the road. I would avoid buying pedals for the haptic sensation. It just doesn't add a lot to the immersion part. It is also not why I have the Fanatic pedals as my favorite pedals. The haptics that I get from the movement of uh, the clutch or the pressing of the brake are much more impressive than the two little motors on its back. Now I want you to keep in mind that for all the hardware I test, alternate brands are available that might give a much better sensation. When I get the chance, uh, I will test some more of it and perhaps that will change my vision on certain hardware, like for example the pedals. A last thing I would want to mention is the software. I would really recommend looking into SimHub. It is free to use and is a very good companion when you start to dive into immersion. While free, it is in many cases much better than the software of the hardware providers. It might look intimidating at first, but I can assure you that when you properly learn how to use it, that your immersion while driving will augment significantly. Thank you all for watching. I hope you had something from this video. Please leave a like if you did. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more uh, videos. If you have a comment, please put it down below and I will see you all next video. Bye bye.